Fly tactical fighter. Known as a riot by those who fly, the Sumo Hornet builds on a combat proven design of the original Hornet with improvements such as a 30% larger surface area, larger payload, longer range, and most importantly, increased lethality. The aircraft performing you today is an E model, which incorporates a single place cockpit to complete all phases of the assigned mission. In today's demonstration, pilot Lieutenant Trembeth Callsign Bobble from Rhinelander, Wisconsin, will demonstrate the incredible flight characteristics of the Super Hornet. Both aircrew have extensive combat experience and flown in numerous sorties in support of Operation Enduring Freedom and other operations around the globe. During today's flight, he will experience G-force extremes from negative three all the way eight times the normal force of gravity as he maneuvers the aircraft to the edge of its operating envelope. These shows will be formed at speeds as fast as 700 miles an hour and as slow as 100 miles an hour. The main maneuvers you see here today demonstrate the aircraft's capability in the tactical arena are employed during combat and training flights. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the center, where in a moment you'll hear the Rhinos two GE F414 turbofan engines blow up to their maximum power. After a brief systems check, Lieutenant Trembath will release the brakes allowing the engines 44,000 pounds of thrust that will accelerate the aircraft to its takeoff speed of 120 knots. On takeoff, the aircrew will perform a low transition, raising the landing gear and accelerating to 400 miles an hour, giving you a up close look at the rail at just 50 feet off the ground. When he says dirty, that means it's aerodynamically dirty. That means the landing gear's down, the flaps are down, making it very difficult to fly, or much more difficult to fly than when the, the gear and flaps are raised up and the airplane is aerodynamically clean. But let's watch this dirty roll. Air missiles and the ability of the Super Hornet to turn in a very tight space gives it a tremendous tactical advantage. Ladies and gentlemen, watch as Lieutenant Trembeth approaches from the left for the mid radius turn.
and Tremis. Ladies and gentlemen, from the right, the Super Hornet carrier configuration pass. Only one of the few aircraft in the world capable of doing this. Super Hornet. Now you're going to see something crazy. As a rider approaches from the left, the tantrum is all accelerated to aircraft to 450 miles an hour at a height of only 500 feet. Approaching you at show center, he will roll the aircraft inverted and reduce power to idle. Ladies and gentlemen, the Super Hornet inverted whisper pass. That's 123 knots. Miles an hour, sir. Miles an hour, okay. Keep her coming. There's 110. Six right there, Rob, but we'll see upwards of eight during the uh, demonstration at various times. So we're pulling a lot of G's, uh, but we're about to do that. It's one of the bigger air cranes out there. You don't realize how big it is until you get out on the static. Uh, one that we have on the static plane and stand next to it. It's right on, one, one, three quarters of a mile. Call the ball. Roger, ball. Ladies and 
and gentlemen, you'll now see that low transition once again. Watch as Tantrum touches down as he gets his throttles back up and accelerates the aircraft only a few feet off the deck and pulls up at the end of the runway. look at him. So get those cameras out. He'll be approaching from the right. Ladies and gentlemen, from the right, the Super Hornet Photo Pass. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at this, folks. Super Hornet you saw here today, one is actually used by Strike Fire Squadron 12 